Hey there. Um, I wanted to hop on and do a really quick uh, live feed on Instagram because earlier today I posted an article on the Betty's Co page um, that was published by her campus. And it's the story of a young woman who had pelvic pain. She went to the ER and they essentially didn't take her seriously and said, it's just period pain, take a Motrin. And um, I wanted to hop on and share that that experience is unfortunately common. And I had a similar healthcare experience and I, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope my connection holds. Don't worry, I'm not driving, I'm in the passenger seat. Um, but again, this is really important for women to understand, especially as you consider whether or not you need to go to a gynecologist. Um, if you are experiencing this pain, that it is up to you to make sure you are, you are pushing your providers to check for certain conditions and that you are really vocal about your healthcare needs and ensuring that those are met. Um, for me, I was about 25 and um, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had severe pain in my lower abdominal um, area on the right side. And it was so severe, I was actually worried it was my appendix. Um, so of course I did what everybody does. I, I Googled, you know, the symptoms and what to look out for. And it was intense enough that I felt like I needed to go to the emergency room. So I did. Again, this was in the middle of the night. I went to the ER. I was at triage, standing up, telling them about my pain. Um, I was married at the time, Justin, my husband took me. And as we're telling her about my pain, you know, I almost passed out. I got really lightheaded and I had to sit down. I told her my pain was at about an eight. And they rushed me back um, to go ahead and start testing to make sure it wasn't something that was, um, uh, that I would need immediate surgery on, right? Like an appendix uh, uh, getting ready to burst. But um, I went back there, you know, they ran tests, they did, they checked my heart, they checked my, um, gut, they checked just about everything, right? My blood pressure, all of my vitals, and uh, couldn't find anything. Um, I was still in pain. After about 45 minutes to an hour, my pain started to subside, but slowly. And so um, with that experience, and they said, okay, well, we can't get you in for an ultrasound until 8 a.m. At this point, that was about eight hours later. So I had to stay in the hospital for eight hours. No one there ever mentioned any gynecological issue. They never talked about a cyst rupturing. I, I wasn't on my period at the time. I wasn't having PMS at the time. Um, so it wasn't until, again, about eight hours later that I was finally in to see an ultrasound tech to get an ultrasound. And at that time, she didn't find anything. So then the doctor comes back and, and is talking to me and basically says, you know, they didn't find anything, but, you know, maybe it just it looked like you had a little extra gas in there, some gas bubbles. So for years, I thought, oh my goodness, well, how embarrassing. I went to the ER in the middle of the night and I missed work the next morning because I had bad gas cramps. And the placement of the pain did not necessarily coincide with that. And it wasn't for several years until I started doing my own research, really looking into the women's health space, listening to other women's stories, that I essentially came to the conclusion on my own that I likely had a cyst that ruptured. Luckily, it wasn't contorted. Luckily, it didn't create any um, significant you know, damage or, or further pain for me um, other than just the embarrassment. But the concept of going into the ER, having pelvic pain, and not having a an ER doctor to um, talk to me about gynecological issues what was a problem and it is a problem. So I am just putting this out there uh, so that other women know this experience exists. It's common, unfortunately. Um, I think there are a lot of great providers out there. This is not to say that ER physicians aren't capable of you know, treating gynecological issues but I've heard enough stories and seen enough research and statistics to know that um, this type of uh, health disparity and inequity for women is, um, is a common problem. So um, you're not alone. If something like this has happened to you, um, go see your gynecologist if you have these experiences. Um, 
young women, make sure you're starting to see your gynecologist early. ACOG, which is the Association of uh, Gynecology Obstetricians and Gynecologists, actually recommends that a woman have her first gynecological visit between 13 and 15, um, so that you can get in there and you can start to see your provider. You should start having annual checkups, you know, at the age of 18, um, or if you become sexually active sooner. Once you become sexually active. Um, my uh, medical board and medical director and I at Betty's are, are, are talking about what is the right age for us to start developing relationships with our patients and we think sooner is better um, so that you can learn uh, what is normal, what isn't normal, what um, symptoms should concern you and what they shouldn't. So go ahead over to the Betty's page, look at that post. I would encourage anyone who is interested to read um, that wonderful article published by Her Campus. You can also go to at Her Campus um, to see their post there. It was in their story today. Um, and uh, if you have a story, I want to hear it. Please let us know. Um, send me a DM. You can post it on um, the Betty's Co. page underneath that story. Um, that is what we are doing at Betty's. We are working to um, change the culture around women's health care, uh, particularly for younger women, so that we can create, you know, a new generation of healthy and informed and empowered women. Um, and I think we can really make a difference if we share our stories and, and can teach that generation um, so that they know what to prepare for. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining. Love you all. Uh, love your support for Betty's. And um, stay tuned. I'm sure I'm going to be on here soon with another story for you. All right. Bye.